Hello everybody. In this video I will demonstrate how to go through the normal skill tests for the Simutech for ELT 106 also known as electrical circuits. The process for this is simple and I will show you how to use certain tools that you will find in the skill test in order to accomplish your tasks and get it done efficiently, correctly, and also learn how to use these applications in real life. So let's get started with the first skill test. This is your work order. Expenditures, as you can see, there is nothing yet. This will fill out at the end of it telling you what you spent to repair this circuit. And also how much time you spent will equal how much money is spent on you being there. Status of repairs is filled out when somebody else tried to repair this and could not. And problem description is what you really want to look at for these. This will tell you what to expect and what people say have happened. Our assignment today is to repair the lighting circuit safely, accurately, and efficiently. So let us begin. This is a normal skill test circuit for ELT 106. There are two light bulbs, three switches, and one relay, and one fuse. And here is ground, neutral, and live. Circuit box is back here, and all your tools that you will access are up here. Expenses is occurred when you replace something. Like say I took this fuse out and replaced it, that would be an expense. So let us see what's wrong with the circuit. Okay, one light comes on, even though both are supposed to come on. Okay, only one light comes on. Only one light comes on. So if we look at reference for the schematic diagram, PB1 is right here. Push button 1, push button 2 is right here, and push button 3 is right here. And they are in parallel with each other. So this should follow, if I push PB1, power should flow through PB, from the through the fuse, through PV1, through the three stops which are in series so that if I hit one of these it stops the circuit. That is a normal safety feature in all circuits. Power will flow to relay 1 right here through 2 to 7. 7 is the neutral which will take it back to here. This relay 8, 6 right here will close. Power will flow through here to L light 1 and through here to light 2. Both lights will turn on and power will flow through the circuit. Hitting any stop button at that time will interrupt the circuit and turn off the lights. As we demonstrated though, only one light is turning on. But according to this, both lights should turn on. Now, if we observe this, we notice nothing abnormal. Observing can help you. Say if a wire is burnt, it can tell you that it smells burnt insulation. So that can help you quickly find out what is wrong. Now, just looking at this, we can tell that all this part is working right here. But something is not working for light 1, which is not turning on no matter which button we hit. Obviously, there's something wrong with this light. But it may not be the light. Never assume it's not just the light. There could be something else wrong as well. Though, in this case, it probably is the light. So what we'll do is pull out our meter and circuit box. Turn off the power, lock out, and verify dead. Move this off to the side. Grab your meter. You will want to set your meter to ohms. This is how you measure resistance. 
Normally you would measure voltage here, but because you're on the neutral wire, it won't be as easy to measure. So take your screwdriver up here next to meter. This is what you use to disconnect and reconnect wires, and we will disconnect one side of the light. We will take our black lead onto the neutral side, and it doesn't matter it does not matter which order or which side you put these on. Just make sure that you disconnect and we will measure across. We are measuring across the light bulb right now and as you can see we are getting a resistance of zero. Now to, tr to make sure that this is an accurate reading we will disconnect the neutral wire on light 2 which does work we were supposed to be getting a resistance of 26 ohms. But obviously we were not when we were measuring across light 1. This tells us that light 1 is wrong and should be replaced. So select your wrench. Wrench is what you use to replace items. Also in certain cases it can allow you to inspect certain elements to see if they are working right or wrong. So left click on light one and it will ask you to replace the component. This is the expense of replacing it and this is how much time you will spend replacing it. Sounds about right in time. So let us replace it. Take your screwdriver and reconnect the wires. A quick way to bring back your leads to your meter without having to drag, and drag them back over is to click off automatically go back in. So now let us remove the lock, turn on power, and test out the light. Everything is now working. Using the power of deduction we were able to figure out that light 1 was not working even though light 2 was. Because light 2 was working we knew everything else was working in the circuit. So the only problem had to be light one. I hope this video has helped you in figuring out how to do this. This is where you will go after it. This will show you, this is just an expanded version of the work order. This is how long we were there. And at three minutes, for three dollars for twelve minutes, the light bulb was 129. Now you will click done and your circuit is done it will be added to your skill rating. Pay no, this is going to tell you how you're doing. Mine's low because I was testing something earlier. But if you did good on the first one, and these are in random order by the way, so these will not, you cannot predict which order they're going to be in. But if you do good on each one, you'll get into this area. This is the highest grade area. If you end up down here, talk to your teacher on how to get better at doing this and help. To everybody watching this, I hope this video was instructional.